Hey everybody, this is Tristan from Survival World, and today's tutorial in our Survival Knot series is on the Yozomite Bowline Knot. The Yozomite Bowline Knot adds another turn to the original Bowline Knot. If you haven't seen that video already, check it out in our Survival Knot series, and it adds a significant amount of strength to that knot. The Yozomite Bowline Knot is a lot more recommended over the original Bowline Knot for climbing since it's a lot safer and only requires like one extra turn of the rope. So let's dive in on how to tie the Yozomite Bowline Knot. So let's start off with a simple bowline knot. We're gonna make a simple loop going over our rope here. We're gonna take our end, we're gonna work it underneath our loop. We're gonna take it around our other side and we're gonna stick it back through that loop going down. And uh, that is your simple bowline knot. You could just pull that tight and you'd have a pretty great knot, but we're gonna take it a step further with the Yozomite bowline knot. And what we're gonna do with our end here, get a little bit more room in this rope so you guys can see what we're doing here. We're going to take this end, we're going to wrap it underneath this. We're going to take our end, we're going to stick it underneath this side of our loop. And then, with our loop we have up there, we're going to take our end and run it through that. And when we pull this tight here, it just creates a nice double bowline knot. And I'll show you guys that knot a little bit slower so you can follow along easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our simple bowline knot, create an overhand loop. We're going to take our leading edge up through that loop, round and underneath our top rope, and we're going to stick it through the first loop we created going down again. And that's a simple bowline knot, but we want to create the Yozomite bowline knot, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it underneath this side of the rope, we're going to wrap it and stick it through our big loop down here and underneath the left side of that loop. We're going to find this little loop that is kind of right next to the remaining section of rope here and we're just going to bring it up through that. And we can grab our rope and pull this tight and it'll create a really strong knot. And that's how you tie the Yosemai Bolo knot. Make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and check out our playlist that's going to pop up right here with more tutorials on how to tie knots. Thanks for watching.